Offset's debut solo album was supposed to drop on his birthday, December 14th. But 54 days later, we're still waiting for the new tunes. Now, the Migo rapper insists his solo album will come out once it's actually ready. He actually said on Instagram that the album was smoking hot. Who wants smoke? Well, we want smoke. <laughs> so stop delaying it. Or you could end up with the infamous artist on our sixth list of long lost albums. <laughs> Carlos, who's he in danger of enjoying it? Well, I'll tell you, this is the sixth list right here. At number six is the Carter Five. Lil Wayne's latest album was in well documented music purgatory for nearly five years. Yeah, wow. you heard that right. But it actually came out, which is better than any other album on this list. So I'll tell you the ones that did not come out. Oh. At number five, Madonna. Okay. So Vogue producer Shep Pettibone says he has numerous scrapped songs with her that will never see the light of day because she decided to go another direction. But that doesn't make it an album, but okay. Uh, well, I mean, I'm <laughs> that sure. That just makes it some songs. But it sounds like there's a lot of songs that could yes. make an album. All right, so Katy Perry, she's number four on the list because she's rumored to have not one, but two canceled albums from before her superstardom. Mm, wow. All right, well, Dr. Dre is number three on our list. There was a 15 year gap between a second and third album and he has another album detox that will never see the light of day because he says it's dead all right number two is adele she scrapped an entire album about being a mom because she said it was boring all right but number one is the most tragic to me britney spears in 2004 she teased that she was almost done with her next album which was called original doll she even played a track from it on the radio called mona lisa but it never came out you can find it online but it never ever ever played again on the radio that was the one time it played and then her reps said her you know their label said this album isn't coming out we have the latest <laughs> twist in robert de niro's increasingly contentious divorce the oscar winner and his estranged wife grace hightower are due back in court tomorrow and a source tell close to de niro tells us that grace is the one who wants the proceeding to be public so you know as we all know Robert De Niro, he's one of the notoriously private celebs yep. in the business. And of course, he wanted this divorce to be private. In fact, when he filed for a divorce, he filed um, anonymous versus anonymous. Mm -hmm. Page six, of course, figured it out that it was Robert De Niro and Grace Hightower. But sources now. Sources and spies, sources honey. Sources and spies, exactly. But now sources are telling us that this could have been resolved privately, but Grace is the one who wanted to be public, that she wants to drag it out. That's what one source is telling us. But you could see, you know, we've had reporters out at the courthouse, and you could see how uncomfortable Robert De Niro is that this is so public. In fact, take a look at this. So I'm a young girl, I'm not smart? Yeah, no, you, I don't think you are. <laughs> you sound like you're smart, but you're not. Why am I not smart? Because you're not smart doing a job like this. Yeah. Um, so you see he's chastising yeah. reporters. This is extremely uncomfortable for Robert De Niro, but both sides, they have different takes. In fact, a long time Robert De Niro associate told us that he wants us to, you know, he just wants to see his kid. The money is not an issue for him. He's 75 years, years old. old. The one he has a 20 year old and I believe he also has a, they have a seven year old too, I believe. Yeah. And so, uh, but yeah, so, but he wants to see his kid and he doesn't care about the money. He's 75 years old, but another source close to Grace said that, uh, you know, he's, Bob is the one who's forcing this to go public. And another source close to De Niro also said that it's gonna, she's gonna wind up getting less money because she's handling this in the court so publicly. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm Bevy but, De Niro, and I stand by. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know, also, it's important to know, too, a source told us that there, there's a prenup, and so they're not going to discuss it publicly. The Masked Singer has quickly become must-watch TV for millions of viewers every Wednesday, but at one point, only one person believed in this very bizarre phenom, and that would be Jenny McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. How the heck did Jenny McCarthy know something that none of us knew? Okay, she is a smart cookie. So we caught Obvi. up with Jenny McCarthy in Atlanta where she was there for the Super Bowl. And you know, she's one of the panelists on The Masked Singer. So she's trying to figure out what celebrity is under those elaborate costumes. Yes. So Jenny revealed to us that, well, first she said my agents are going to get mad at me for saying this, but she revealed her agent said, we have a few projects that you have offers for. Why don't you take a look? But don't look at this one. You're going to hate it. And she said, no, let me let me take a look. So she wanted to see it. So she watched the Korean version because, mm -hmm. you know, the Masked Singer, it's based off of a Korean format. Mm -hmm. And this is what she said. She said, it's weird enough and different that it'll get people's attention. She yep. was definitely right about this. So this is what she said. When it hit, my agents called me and they were like, you're the only one who believed in this show. Every single person outside of the network thought this was the worst thing 
that could possibly come on television. Now, here's what I want to say. First of all, ideas out of the box are what works because yep. there's so much content now. But also, exactly. it was based on a Korean format, which was a huge hit overseas. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Jenny McCarthy believed in it. Yeah, definitely. But you know what? The wackier, the better, right? I agree. I, and I'm I agree with you. It's like so much content that you need something that really stands out. Absolutely. Right. So, I mean, and it's know. a huge hit now because everybody's watching. I believe it's the number one show at the moment. But so far, it's been revealed that Antonio Brown, he was the hippo. Everybody oh, keeps guessing. Right. Tommy Chong was the pine. Apple, Terry Bradshaw was the deer, Margaret Cho was the poodle, and okay. Tori Spelling, I didn't see this one, Tori Spelling uh, was revealed as the unicorn last week, and people are still guessing, people think, well, I'm sure you know the Nick Cannon, he's the host, Yes. so mm -hmm. he probably knows it all, right? I think Nick Cannon does know, he wears those turbans, so he reminds me of the Johnny Carson character, what was it, Karnak the Magnificent, <laughs> so he's like, Karnak <laughs> the Magnificent, right? <laughs> Here's the thing, they actually keep things very under wraps. They go to extreme measures. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Nick, Nick says he doesn't know, and I actually believe it in this case. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, he controls a lot, so I think he knows. <laughs> All right, well, people think Gladys Knight may be the B, and Latoya Jackson may be the alien, but we'll see who gets unmasked tonight. If the alien can't sing, then it's definitely Latoya Jackson. <laughs>